Hello guys, this is a very simple tutorial on how to get started with SQLite databases on your Android application. I have an empty project here. Let's go to the activity main.xml. Let's create a lo simple login form using our uh, SQLite database. So what we'll need first, we should delete this hello world first and we'll go and add a plain text for the username and one for the password and let's have two buttons for login and sign up so let's now change the properties of the buttons and uh, the edit text so let's go to the edit text for the username and we'll change the id to et username et And we'll, we'll delete the text and add a hint username. And we'll do the same for the password. ET password. And we'll do the same for the buttons as well. So we'll change the ID to btn login and add the text login and for the sign up we'll add btn and sign up and for the text sign up. So now that we have created all the UI elements Let's create objects in the Java file. So we'll create objects for the edit text as well as the button. So edit text name comma pass and button login comma sign up. Now we will link this objects with the UI elements by the ID which we have provided earlier. So we will do that by find view by ID method. So we will give name equals find view by ID r dot id dot et username. So it gives an error so because the data type is different. Let's typecast it to the edit text. We'll do the same for the remaining three elements. Now we'll create on click listeners for the button login and sign up. So login dot set on click listener the first option right here so and then new on click on click listener and for the sign up sign up dot set on click listener new now we'll create a database helper class to interact with our database create new java class and let's name it db handler and we should extend from the sqlite open helper class it shows up an error showing that an abstract method on create on create should be implemented for overriding default methods you should right click and click on generate go to override methods and select the methods so we should do on create and on upgrade now it still shows up an error so let's go there is no default constructor 
available. So let's create a default constructor for this class. We should give the parameter as a context parameter. A context is used to pass the current state between different parts of your application. So context C. Let me import it first. Alt enter. And we'll call the superclass, that's the SQLite data open helper with the context. Super. And we should give the context first. Then the name of the database we are going to use. And cursor factory let it be null. And version I'll give one for now. Okay. And on the onCreate method, we'll create the table which is, which is required for our application. So let's give a string query. Let's, to create a table in SQL database is same as of uh, MySQL database. So if you are familiar with MySQL, it should be really easy for you. So create table, um, login, and we'll give the columns. So username, username, let it be varchar care of 20 and let it be primary key and we'll create a column for the password as well password or care of 20 so what this means is it's it is going to create a table named login and it is going to have two columns username and password with uh, data type as work and the username is the primary key here so the u same username cannot be repeated and let's give let's execute this query so db dot execute sql query The on upgrade is called whenever you change the version number of the database. So if we want to delete the data, database and create a new one here, you can specify the command here just like doing the doing here. So if we don't want to do anything, we can leave it just blank. So we'll leave it blank here and we'll create two methods for uh, like sign up and login. For sign, we'll create for sign up now. Sign up, we'll get the username and password. And we'll create a query uh, to insert into the database. So string query equals insert into table name that's login values we're going to give two values so we'll give two question marks and that's it and we'll execute the query so db dot oh we don't have a db object here so we'll create a db object first sqlite database db equal to this dot get so we we have a choice of get re, getting readable database and writable database now we have to insert into the table so we'll get the writable database here and then db dot execute sql query comma then we'll pass in the values for the username and password 
so that should be an array of objects so here we will pass in an array of strings new string username and then password then we will close the database db.close so the sign up is finished let's create a method for login so public boolean so it will return true on valid logins and it will return false on invalid logins so login we will get this username and password string username We'll create a database object here so sqlite database db equals this dot get writable database and we'll write the query now so string query equals so we have to select from the select the password which belongs to the user so select password from login login is a database name table name and where username equals question mark we'll execute this query since we are retrieving data from the database we, sh we should give raw query so raw query as you can see here it it gets a SQL string and it gets the parameters and it returns a cursor. So with the cursor we can get retrieve the values. So let's give raw query and query string then the parameters. It should be a array of strings. So new string and we'll pass in the username. As this returns a cursor, so we will store it in a cursor, cursor c equals the raw query. So we will import the cursor, okay. So um, we will check if the cursor has any elements. So if c dot get count is greater than zero that means if there is any rows which has been retrieved right so if you give a wrong username there won't be any rows which match to this uh, username in the login table so it will retrieve zero so if there is any any entries present we would like to get that password and we'll compare it to the password which is given by the user and we'll return true or false based on that. So uh, I'll store it on new string pass string pass equal to c dot get string of zero. Then we will compare if the retrieve password pass is same as the password supplied by the user. So if pass dot equals password then return true if this doesn't happen let's return false so let's call these two methods from the main activity first to call the methods in the db handler we should create an object for the db handler so let's create an object db handler db and we'll initialize the object here so db equals new db handler and we we should give a context so get application context 
and on the login we'll call this login method and we should check if it returns true or false if db dot login and we should pass in the username as the pass and the password so we'll get the username from the name object here so name dot get text and we should convert this to string to string and then we'll pass in the password pass dot get the text dot to string if it is true we'll to make a toast say, uh, saying it that it is valid so t toast dot make text we'll give in the context and we'll the we'll give the text as valid and we'll give the duration as uh, long and we'll show it and if it is not valid we'll give the else part here we'll make a toast saying that try again okay now the login part is ready let's give a sign up part so the sign up part is relatively much easier so we will just have to give db dot sign up and the username and password let's copy that from here username and pass i have an extra okay that's it and we'll make it toast saying that it's done let's run this application this was my previous one so let's get that over no warnings no errors good and let's give the username as r and password as y let's try logging in it says try again let's sign up it and it says done so a new row with username r and password with y should be created then let's try to log in so it should be valid oh unfortunately stopped let's see what happened there out of index with the size of 1 so let's click here it was out of index oh mm, let's try moving the cursor to the first position if c not equal to null then we'll move c dot move to first it should work we'll try again Username or username y password y login it's valid. Let's give a wrong password. Y T login it's not valid. That's it, guys. Click over here to watch my last video, and I'll be doing a lot of videos. So like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Bye.